What I'm doing is I'm controlling this CNC machine that's using Mach 3 with this Xbox controller. This Xbox controller has a USB end on it, it just goes into my computer. Anyway, I've been getting requests how I would hook this up to the Mach 3, and that's what this video is about. And as a bonus at the end of this video, we're going to play a song, another song, special request on the CNC machine that's coming up next. Hang on for that. So let's go ahead and install the plug-in for the Xbox controller. This is the wired version with the USB end. I picked this up for less than $20. And I know if you go on eBay, you can get them for around 5 or 6 Anyway, we're at the uh, Artsoft website here. We're going to go ahead and go to Software and Downloads. And down here... On download and update, there's one called plugins. Let's go to that. And if you come on down to the very bottom, we're looking for the X's. There it is, right there, second to the bottom. Here's a shillings plugin. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to go with this one. And there's some information in the download and the documentation button. Before we get into this, let me show you my mock software. Let me go ahead and open Mach 3 up before the install of the joystick. Let's just take a look at that. Okay, so mock is loaded up. Here it is. And I wanted to bring your attention to the configuration tab. If you go down and you look for, let's see, what am I looking for here? Config plugins right here. Let's go ahead and see what's inside there. So there's two enabled plugins, and you can read what they are here, but there's five in total. These aren't activated. There's not an Xbox controller in here, but when we're done installing the Xbox controller, the name will be in there. Let's go ahead back to the plugins page and download the software. I'm going to save that to my desktop. It's going to be called Xbox 360 Controller. Save. Now, also when I was preparing for this video, um, I did not have all the plugins. This was a fresh machine that I'm recording this video on. And I went ahead and installed the software, but I re uninstalled it so I could show you now. Some of the items might be already loaded. So if mine works and yours doesn't you just might simply need a restart or to install the software and I'll go through it here so you know what I'm talking about okay so I downloaded the uh, the plugin let's go to our desktop here and locate that so here it is copy that we'll just cut it actually I'm gonna go to my computer I'm looking for my C drive my main drive and here is the Mach 3 folder let's go ahead and open that and then there's a plugins folder here. Let's go ahead and open that. Those are the five items that we had seen in there, right there. Let's go ahead and paste our um, Mach 3 or our Xbox controller software. Okay, there it is inside the plugins folder. Okay. Now, the trick to this whole thing, if you've done this in the past and it didn't work, like I said earlier, the secret to this whole thing is this file right here. If we go to this link, this DirectX from Microsoft, we want to go ahead and open that. Don't ignore that. The reason why is probably if you have a stock computer, you're not going to have this file in its entirety on your machine. And this is really what is required to make this plugin work. I think if I ran it right now before I do this step, it wouldn't work. And so get this file and install it. The link, again, is right here, drag decks, right there. I've got two of them. Okay, there's one. Come on down. And this first one says Runtime run Web Installer. Go ahead and pick that one. We're going to go ahead and download this. And I'm not going to check any of that stuff. I'm just going to say no thanks and save file 
and again I'm going to put it on my desktop it's DX web setup is what we're saving here let's check on my download here okay so it's finished let's go ahead and close this window this one too so here it is let's go ahead and launch it yes just because you have DirectX doesn't mean you have everything you need for the Microsoft controller so this is going to take care of a lot of that I accept now I still have not plugged in my my mouse yet or my uh, controller okay I do not want to install Bing make sure you turn that off next unless you want Bing I guess so it's it's working right now okay let's hit next so it's downloading the latest off the internet so you'll have to make sure you're plugged in for that it's gonna take a few minutes I'll be back in one moment okay installation complete finish now I'm using a Windows 7 machine but if you're using an XP at this point I would restart my machine I'm gonna try it without doing that though so here we go okay so we've installed our DirectX we've put the Xbox controller plugin file into the mock plugin folder now let's go ahead and plug in our mouse into the USB port Oh, look right down here, this green thing. So it's automatically putting my device drivers in for the Xbox controller. So we're almost there. Let's wait till this is finished. So it's making some doop de doop noises. It looks like it's ready to go. Let's see. No, still installing. Let's wait for that to finish. Now, if you don't have internet access on your CNC machine, you're going to have to go ahead and download this stuff and save it on a flash card from another computer at, at the office or use a friend's computer or something because you're going to have to get these files and that one does come off the internet. Okay, our device is ready to use, meaning the Xbox. And you'll know it's ready to go because the light right up here on the top left it would be will come on just that one little section okay all right time to check it out make sure it worked go into that c drive into the mach 3 folder go into the plugins folder and you have to double click this okay now it's installed now you can go ahead and close this and let's go back to our mach 3 mach 3 mil let's go no errors, great. Under configuration, configuration plugins. And now, finally, we have our Xbox 360 controller. So we're gonna click this red X right here and activate it. That'll enable it. Now we configure right here, this yellow thing, configure. Okay, we're in. It's pretty self-explanatory how you would set this up. Depending on the stick you wanted is how you would set it up. So for instance, this stick right here, I've got mine set up to run the Z axis up and down. And you can see it's already pre-selected. Now if it wasn't, this button right here is for this slide. I could pick whatever axis I wanted to control, but Z is what I want, so that's fine. And then on this stick, I have my X, which is back and forth, and my Y, which is up and down. Okay, so here's where you set up your joystick definitions. And on my machine, I use this left toggle switch over here, this stick, to go up and down on my Z. So that's the way I have mine set up. Now this stick runs my X back and forth, and my Y, which is up and down. And then I also have my stop button programmed on this red button. Now there's a bunch of buttons on the thing, and you can configure every one of them from this setup. But I just have a few because I'd rather use the keyboard for other functions. But to define this stick, it says right here, left stick, side to side, back and forth. 
which I really don't want to do anything in my case there. Now up and down, I want the Z to move my Z axis, so the left would be up and down. That's how I'd set that. Now if it's going backwards, you can use this reverse direction button, but first we have to test. Over here, we're looking at the right stick, okay? And on the right stick, my side to side would be my, my uh, X axis, which is here. And again, you can reverse. And then my right stick up and down, I like my Y, which is here. Okay, so I've got my X, my Y, my Z, and I want to program this A button. I'm sorry, that's a B button. That's that red one there. So the B button is right here, and it's already set for reset. That's exactly what I want, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Now, you can come through here and program every one of them, but that's all I'm going to use. So I'm going to say, okay, let's okay this. It's on. It's ready to go. What you're going to have to do now is restart your computer, I recommend. I'm not going to do it to save time, but uh, let's go ahead and launch this one more time. Mach 3 loader. Okay. Now, I don't have a CNC machine hooked up to this computer, but we can test the, at least the stop button because it will beep at us and we'll hear that. Okay, so it's reset. And let's just go ahead and see if we can go ahead and reset the machine now with our red button here. Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and move the Z. You can see that my zero right here, my Z axis, is actually moving with the stick. Let's try my X. That works too. And my Y. So there it is, all set up. Let's go ahead and play with it a little bit in the other room. Let's. I'll take this in and we'll plug it in. That's coming up. Final thoughts after that. Okay, so we're back at the CNC machine after learning how to hook this up. If you notice, the joysticks are actually proportionate. If you push them down just a little, you get a little movement. And then the more that you pull, the faster it goes. Same with the Z. Very slow. All the way to fast. So it's fully proportionate. Here's the stop button. You heard that. Let's back on again. And I did program one more button, and that was to micro move it. It's this green button here. Let's go ahead and move the, uh, the Z up and down. Now if I was trying to center my bit on top of the stock to zero out the machine, I can press this Z button, or I'm sorry, the A button, and now I get little tiny moves. See? Now if I press it again, I have full range. So when you're almost down to your piece, you can click that and then inch down to it like that. That's one other thing you can do. It's kind of nice. Anyway, as promised, this one goes out to Robbie. Robbie wrote us in after seeing our last video and said that he wanted to uh, hear Beat It. So let's go home. We're in the plane position. Okay, take us out, beat it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget the thumbs up. Beat it. Any more? Request taken here. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.